Now, as we see Florida's numbers flatten, some counties are still struggling. Manatee County continues to see a rise in positive COVID-19 cases. Two zip codes in particular are getting the brunt of it, and these two areas alone make up 42% of the entire county's cases. Leah Fernandez shows you that's why commissioners in those districts started handing out face masks today. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Car after car drove up to get free face masks at the Transit Fleet facility in Manatee County. So there's two in each of these bags. Okay. You can reuse them. Commissioner Misty Servia of District 4 handed out baggies of masks and refilled bottles of hand sanitizer. In my district, I have um, some of the highest zip codes with positive cases. And so if I can get masks and hand sanitizer into the residents' hands, I'm hopeful that we can bring those numbers down. Face masks have been hard to come by unless you order in bulk. Servia says she partnered with an anonymous donor who purchased 10,000 masks and several gallons of hand sanitizer to give out. People are just trying really hard to keep their families safe. And if we can play a little part in that, I think that lifts up the whole community. Commissioner Reggie Bellamy also set up a few distribution sites. With the help of community partners, he has several thousand KN95 masks being handed out at all MCR health facilities and some youth centers in the county. And those receiving the items were grateful. I appreciate this a lot. Absolutely. These commissioners are focusing their distribution in their district, seeing the most positive COVID-19 cases in Manatee County. Like you saw, they're handing out masks like the one I'm wearing and this KN95 mask. Now, it's been a day of giving. Over in Sarasota, the city just got a very generous donation of face shields. It's a one-piece um, thing, and it fits over your whole head, and it fits over a mask and goggles as well. These face shields will protect our first responders in Sarasota. You feel so helpless in this pandemic, not being able to do anything, so it felt good to me to be able to provide some extra layer of protection to the first responders on whom we rely for our very lives. Those face shields will go to others working at places like the Salvation Army, nursing homes, and community centers. And then back to those free masks for just a minute. They'll have more distribution sites for you this week. We have those up on your screen right now. You can also double check those at WTSP.com.